Hello friends, here in this video I am going to show you Android 4.1.2 that is Jelly Bean on Samsung Galaxy S2 phone. First of all let me tell you, this Jelly Bean firmware for S2 phone is official leaked version. So it's not, it's not Cyanogen mod or something like that, it's purely official. But it is leaked edition. We have not yet received OTA update from Samsung or in our Kai software for Jelly Bean on S2. But we now have the leaked version so I have just gone ahead, flash my phone with Jelly Bean firmware and after a week of usage I am ready to present before you my review of Samsung S2 phone running Jelly Bean and write 4.2.0 sorry 4.1.2 firmware. Now here as you can see this is the lock screen. On the lock screen we have we can set actually three shortcuts. If you swipe directly from the lock screen we just enter right into our home screen. Let me lock it again. But if we swipe from the shortcuts we just enter into these particular apps. Suppose if I am just swiping it right from the dialer here. I just enter into the dialer app. If I'm swiping it right from the camera icon here, I just directly enter into the camera app. Okay. Also, and as you can see on the lock screen, the time is showing. The phone for the time is really very good. We can also even enable a new sticker so that updates from Facebook, our Facebook account shows right up on the lock screen. But I have just disabled that new sticker because Facebook, Facebook for me is not that important. But you can of course enable that. And we will show you how to do that later in this video. Now these are our, are our home screens. Currently I have 4 home screens on my S2 phone you can always uh, get more home screens by using plus button here now the first change that you will notice in on Android 4.1.2 is your notification window here you can see the list is scrollable here we get expanded notifications right here but since I have two email messages it is not showing the content of that particular email message but if I had received just one new email message it would just show me right here in the notification window the content of that particular email message and also we have the brightness controls right here on our notification window I have set it to auto I can of course tune the brightness to my liking now what other icons that have been added in the notification window here we have the usual icons setup icons here but here we have the mobile data icon right here to enable or dip, uh, disable use your packet data on our phone blocking mode to enable or disable blocking mode which is new in android 4.1 that is jelly Wind. we have also the power, power mode right here and also sync so that we can disable sync feature when we are short of battery now apart from that we also have received Google now on this S2 phone. Let's check apps. Now we have tabs here. Apps tab and widgets tab. Here we can get all our widgets listed here. Hold on to a widget till you reach the home screen to position it on the home screen as usual. But we have apps, widgets and we have downloads. The downloads will show you all your downloaded apps. Now this is a little 3D kind of animation here when we try to scroll it horizontally right now. Even the dialer, the complete dialer makeover here you can see. So actually the complete UI is just flawless. I have not encountered a single bug in S2 phone or running Android 4.1.2. This is of course not the official update. This is a leaked version and for a leaked version to do this well, I think that the official version is not gonna change to any 
major degree so you can assume that this is as good as the official update now let's check settings now here we have this particular option i think this particular option is new nearby devices and we have home screen mode easy mode basic mode easy mode is for those people who are new to android ecosystem we also have blocking mode so that we do not get notifications for incoming calls or messages or alarm or timer or whatsoever during an during a meeting we also have the lock screen here we can customize what appears on our lock screen right under lock screen option we can just replace this particular three shortcuts with a custom shortcuts of a shortcut of our choice we can enable information tick ticker so that we can see news or facebook updates right on our lock screen you can also enable weather display on the lock screen we also have motion direct call this particular feature helps you uh, to uh, call a number directly when a contact is displayed on your screen you just take a phone right to your ears and the contact will be dialed automatically so that's a pretty smart feature you can disable all the motion based features we also have the accessory option here if, we, if you connect any dock device or such devices to your phone you, you are gonna need these options to configure your dock devices appropriately for HDMI output, we can also configure stereo or surround sound. And when you flash Jellybean firmware on your H2 phone, you also get 50 GB of drop box storage. And to claim that 50 GB, you need to uh, sorry, you need to follow certain additional steps on your PC as well. And I have followed it, and I have successfully claimed 50 GB of Dropbox storage but I actually do not need it that's why I have not enabled syncing so if I had enabled syncing such features then all my photos whenever I capture any photo it would be directly up uploaded to my Dropbox account so these are all goodness of Jelly Bean firmware apart from that even music player has changed a little here you can see there is a mini music player under music player settings we can even configure play speed which is new of course and the music player widget has of course changed now there is one more thing we can actually resize these widgets as you can see I can actually resize these widgets so this is pretty cool resizing option widget is resizable and even the default memo app has not changed now actually we can synchronize our memo to our google account apart from that okay here we are not getting 3d kind of scrolling as we used to get on as ICS that is ice cream sandwich but that's okay and here we are getting 3d okay let's set wallpaper former screen lock screen wallpapers right from here it's used to calculator app not change so these are the new things and actually after installing this particular firmware on H2 phone I have not encountered I have not faced any kind of problems any kind of bugs any kind of delays in UI or 
I have not faced any kind of problems that I used to face on ice cream sandwich like problems with my proximity sensor, sometimes problem when dialing certain contact numbers. So it's actually pretty, very much stable, reliable and I can just recommend, I, I'll just recommend you to update your phone this, with this particular firmware. If you can of course. and how to update this phone, this phone with uh, android 4.1 by 2 firmware details the tutorial is mentioned right in our description of this video and for more keep watching our videos i am saurav kumar from tekotv.com